Hey guys, Sam Watson from Tech Fusions here, and today we've got a review on the Seaphone i5. Now, this is a replica one to one of the iPhone 5, and let's see if it's worth the money. So, here's the Seaphone i5, there's the specs on the screen. It's a Android device that looks like an iPhone basically. It's a replica iPhone, it's a one to one, it's exactly the same size as an iPhone 5. So you can check that all out. Um, gotta say, it does look impressive. It's bodywork and it's really neat. But then when you get to the software, and that's a different story. Um, it's got a dual core one gigahertz processor and half a gigabyte of RAM, which is respectable and which is all right for a device of the price. It's also got a nice IPS display, kind of like a Retina display. They're classing as, but it's not the same as a Retina display. It's not as many pixels, but it does look really crisp and nice on that 4 inch screen and there will be some more specs on the screen itself you can read through them have a look at them at your own will but let's go straight into the phone now this has been nothing but trouble for me it's been a pain in the bum um, basically I got this about 3-4 weeks ago and it just hasn't been working for me um, I'll come across the first fault um, as I said look at all the bodywork it's one to one dimension it's really nice um, I'll go to the back, look the Apple logo is coming off here, it did have text down here, just coming off by the finger, look if I just go like this, just comes off, I wasn't impressed with that, second of all, the lightning port at the bottom actually isn't functioning properly, and the lightning cable that I first came with didn't work, broke the first day I actually got the USB cable and the actual phone itself. So I plugged in and then you know when you have a faulty cable once it's like an old cable and it won't charge and you have to put it in a certain way. I had to do that with it and it was a bit of a pain so I went to the Apple store, bought an official Apple one, that's a big no. I mean that didn't even work. So I charged, well I thought it was charging up with that but then that just um, completely drained the battery and wouldn't charge up at all and I thought damn the lightning port's not working. So I was left it to the side for like a good few days didn't bother with it and then I came around bought this lightning cable off eBay and it actually worked so third party cables are the only one to work with this lightning connector and third of all it just generally don't work well it works as a phone you can text and ring people uh, yeah it looks like an iPhone 5 that's great um, let's um, see what else it can do oh, let's um, have a look at photos no media found alright um, Let's have a look at videos. Okay, um, what's this? What's this scanning SD card? Yep, so the SD card's broken inside and I don't have time to fix this all. I've been trying to mess about with it all. Um, so yeah, you've got to tap the home button loads of times. There is an application which puts the home button on the screen but I don't really want that. I don't want that getting in the way. Um, Here's some other applications it's come with. I had to like restore this to default settings and factory reset it a number of times because it just has been a pain. And then this time on factory reset, actually the SD card isn't responding, isn't working with properly. I tried installing the Pacer, I have got here in Gmail, and you think, okay, yeah, Sam, you, that's cool, you got that working. No, I didn't. It like actually force loads. You like try to sign in. And then it takes forever to do that, it takes about a good 5-6 attempts before it actually takes it. And then once you've done that, the application just keeps force closing. So if we go on to applications, there's supposed to be a list of applications, they're all gone. Um, file management, if we click on SD card 2, that just close. If we click on SD card, that just close. So you can't really do much at all. Um, I'm sure there's a way around it. But I just don't have the time and I can't put in the effort to actually do this. So what I'm going to do is actually sell this device to you lot. Um, if anyone's interested, just um, inbox me. I might be selling it on eBay actually. I might put the eBay link. I'm not sure. But if you've got a good offer, just um, inbox me. And hopefully you can mess about with it. Overall, I wouldn't recommend this as your main driver. As it's just nothing compared like to, let's say, a Samsung Galaxy S3 or the real iPhone 5. I definitely not recommend getting replica phones 
for your main device just as a mess about and a root device. It actually does come rooted um, if we have a look. Um, well there was a super user but I don't know where that went. It was rooted and I actually have signed up to the Suphone website so you can download the ROMs, Play Store and everything off there. I just haven't had time to get around with that so anyone that buys it I'll give you over the details. You can mess about with it yourself. Probably going to sell it for a cheap price and just have a mess around and try and get it working. As I said I don't have the time to do this all but that's the phone right there. Um, let me show you about the phone actually. There's the volume up and down. Got the lock button on the top. So everything's the same. It takes a nano SIM card and there's the lightning pet connector at the bottom and the headphone jack. Also to note, the 3G does work. I'm on free network. And there we go. Um, it's just got random names. I can't really test the net, um, 3G because I don't have any data available on this um, card unfortunately. So if you want to see any final videos on this phone before I sell it, like um, let's see if what the camera looks like, um, do that quickly. Don't even know if it's going to open up. Yeah, it's opening up. But there we go, got the lens cap there for my camera. See, that's alright. Like the camera works and whatnot. Well, let's see if it actually saves, actually. Yeah, see, it's not saving to the SD card. So what I recommend you do, get the tools, open it up, fix the SD card, and hopefully install a new ROM and get it all working that way. So that's about it to say about the Suphone i5. It has been annoying, and I did really want to bring you a really cool and professional video showing you loads of gameplay and footage of it, but I just can't, like, you can't even open any apps on it. It's really annoying, and about... That's about how far the review can go really, uh, talk about the back. But it does feel really nice, it feels exactly the same as an iPhone in the hand to be fair. But it just don't function like one at all. This is Sam Morton from Tech Fusion, so I hope you liked this video. Sorry about if it's disappointing and let all you Sue phone lovers down. It's just ain't working for me, but yeah, sub for um, sale, so just inbox me if you want that. This is Sam Morton from Tech Fusions. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Also, follow us on Twitter with our latest updates to what videos we're going to bring up next. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.